Hey everyone and welcome to my mini series on alternative practice strategies. So alternative practice strategies are ways to practice that may not include the violin at all. And why we would want to do these practice strategies could be to increase our awareness of our overall musical learning. So I'm going to cover two today and these two are probably my favorite practice strategies that we can do completely without the violin. So if you are traveling or if you just don't want to disturb your neighbors or your family with your playing at that point, these are things that you can do to continue your musical journey. So the first is singing, especially if you're having issues with a piece or hearing a specific interval or the space between notes, you can sing one to two notes or even an entire passage or measure in order to get that into your brain. Because what singing does is it, when we can perform it physically with our bodies, with our voice, it helps our ears hear it better because of the vibrations that are passing through our body, but it also can help us audiate or like think the pitch better before we perform it on the instrument. Now obviously you want to make sure you're singing in tune or it kind of defeats the purpose. So if you have a piano or a keyboard, you can sit, play the pitches on there and then sing them back. Or you can also find um, online or keyboard apps that work really well for this. Or you can use a tuner. Tuners can be a little finicky with this just because any like deviation in your vocal tone can change the pitch that you see on the tuner. So for someone who's not vocally trained, I can sing in tune, but sometimes on the tuner it looks like it's wavering around quite a bit. Um, so just be aware of that, that they can be a little bit picky as far as that goes. Um, so singing is probably my number one favorite exercise for practicing for pitch away from the violin. The next is listening to whatever piece of music, actually just listening to music in general, but specifically listening to the piece that you're working on and following along in the score with your eyes. So do not have your instrument in your hands. Just maybe just get take a pencil and like mark things. You're like, oh, there's a D sharp there. That's something I'm not very good at. I'm going to mark that. Or, oh, this bowing, that's a little tricky. I'm going to mark that. Or, oh, wow, this passage starts with an up bow or this dynamic. And you're just kind of visually and orally walking through this piece to make sure that you really understand what is on the page. Because if you don't know what's on the page, then you won't be able to translate onto your instrument. Making sure you understand any markings that are written that you may not know. Making sure you know what that means and how you're going to perform it. Maybe even sing along with recording as you read the music that's in front of you. It can be a great way to really interact with the music without even having your violin in your hands. So I hope that was helpful. Those are two of my favorite alternative practice strategies. And I'll be giving you more in part two.